everybody hope you all doing great and everyone's enjoying the burning crusade uh, i apologize i sound a bit nasally i have a cold but i'm going to get straight into it in today's video we're going to be talking about how to switch leatherworking mastery now there has been i guess some guides on how to do this from private servers things are a little different um in uh i guess the this started in the pre-patch i didn't read the the patch notes uh, but you could have started this back in the pre-patch a couple weeks ago but things are a little different now in burning crusade classic um, so to switch leatherworking mastery or specialization all you actually have to do is go back to your original um, trainer i'm a tribal leatherworking so i'm coming over here to stranglethorn bow and i'm talking to my trainer and i'm paying a fee of 50 gold um, everything i see online seems to indicate that if you do this at 70 you're actually going to pay 100 gold um, i didn't test this out so um, i recommend if um, you know you checking this out and doing this potentially before 70 um, if you are 70 and you have done this let me know below uh, the fee and I will pin that um, so that everybody else watching this video can uh, understand what the differences are if they are any at 70 so once you do that, um, what's really interesting is that you, even though it says you're going to undo all of your uh, recipes that are tied to your specialization, you actually don't. Um, I'll talk about this in a little bit and how the specialization affects the classic uh, leatherworking recipes. But after that, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and fly down to Tenaris. Now, there's this little guy over here I'll show you in the map. What he does is he has a little house that uh, allows you to switch over your mastery. So once you've unlearned, you come over here and you choose the uh, mastery of your desire. Now, I had hoarded, um, I guess, like the introductory fee for um, both Elemental and Dragon Scale just because I wasn't sure which one I was going to end up doing. But you actually don't have to pay that uh any any longer um you just click on this book and you select the one that you want and you have officially changed your um your mastery so if you see here uh, now i am elemental uh, leatherworking now i mentioned a while ago that um when you unlearn your uh, specialization it does give you a message saying you're going to lose your recipes now if anyone was following my screen you would have noticed that i didn't unlearn all of my tribal recipes um i still learned how to actually craft the uh, devil source set now um, that's pretty awesome because you can basically continue with all of uh, your known recipes for what you had uh, back in classic and the way it actually works is all of the classic recipes no longer have specialization so one of the things i found out is i got um on my alts that i was leveling um i did uh i think it was a lower black rock or an upper black rock uh, run and i got um I think the black dragon scale chest and i realized that it didn't say required dragon scale so um and now i do also have not only my devil source set i have my dragon scale and um i do have the ability to uh craft uh basically anything from the classic um specialization now i don't know i can't confirm how this works on i guess uh recipes that are trained only from the uh, specialization trainer um, that are not actually picked up i'm actually going to go back and try to get something like the helm of fire um, to kind of have all these you know quintessential classic um recipes that are so important to the leatherworking profession 
Now this doesn't affect anybody who hasn't done the leatherworking specialization. If you're a freshly geared leather worker coming from um, uh, maybe you boosted your character or you know you switch over the leather work and get the drums um, you're still gonna need the mats for the leather working mastery so for dragon scale you're gonna need about 36 thick leather and you're gonna need about 40 scorpid scales and 12 silken threads now these are gonna be used to make the tough scorpid breastplate and the tough scorpid gloves I think you need about two of each when it comes to elemental, uh, you're going to need two globes of water, two hearts of fire, two cores of earth, and two breaths of wind. And lastly, when it comes to tribal, this is kind of like the, the biggest one in terms of what you need. You need about 192 thick leather, 112 turtle scales, and seven wild vines. Yes, for all our tribal leather workers back in Classic, this one really hurt um, compared to the other ones, but it is what it is. Um, when it comes to the actual locations of the uh, trainers itself, um, I didn't do a guide on this back in the day, but for the Alliance, the leather worker is in Najara, um, and it, for the Horde, um, he's located in the Badlands. When we think about the elemental uh, trainer, um, they're located in the Saren Gorge for the Alliance and um, for the Horde, it's in the Arathi Highlands. And as you've shown in my, my video here for the Horde, the tribal leather working uh, trainer is in uh, STV for the Alliance. He is located in Feralus. So with that video, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it learn how to switch your um, your profession it's something that i'm currently sort of doing now that i hit a part where i'm 63 i've done a lot of uh, the slave pens and underbog i'm starting the quest in zanger marsh and i got my chat uh, flight path and you know looking at my professions starting to level those up and i believe a lot of you guys are doing the same thing hope you guys are safe out there hope you guys have been enjoying bc until next time take care